Hi everyone, welcome to 5 Minute Science You Never Knew. Today we are talking to researcher Mr. Milan Groshev, whose work is focused on the network of robots. I say it again, networks of robots. So Milan, tell us about your work. Hi Zoe, I'd be delighted to. In the recent years, we are witnessing the growth of cloud for storing and accessing data and applications over the internet. This presents an opportunity to put robot applications in the cloud and access them over the internet. The Google self-driving car is an example of this. It uses maps, camera vision, and driving trajectory collected in the cloud to know the precise location of the car and therefore navigate it on its own. We've been long able to control robots remotely in order to perform different types of tasks, such as movement, flying a drone, video surveillance, inspection deep underwater, or even space missions. But now, using coordinated sensors, embedded computers, and even people, a new generation of network robots is being born. Together, they can perform tasks that are very well beyond the abilities of a single robot or multiple uncoordinated robots. Robotics is expanding in several directions today, and the applications that are envisioned are very numerous and diverse. We expect robotics to be more persuasive in the near future. It will be present in our homes for cooking, cleaning, and also as companions in our offices, hospitals, streets, even maybe conducting an orchestra. That sounds really powerful, Milan. So what is this piece of your work? As a researcher at the University Carlos Tercero in Madrid, I am exploring the use of intelligent 5G solutions that integrate edge computing to understand how we can improve today's robotic systems. Edge computing provides computing capabilities close to the end user, ideal for mobile robots because it offers ultra-low latency environment in the range of 10 milliseconds with high bandwidth and real-time access to radio and network analytics. This, what we call intelligent edge computing, can be applied to dynamic environmental changes where fast reaction from the robot is required, and all the algorithms that control the robot can now be placed in the intelligent edge. My research is funded with 5G Dive, one of the European Horizon 2020 projects, in which we are implementing and testing applications such as digital twin or zero defect manufacturing, applications that can help humans in a day-to-day -day operation and help us implement the idea of smart factory. So if there is one more message that you want the audience to take away, what would it be? It is in the future, it will be the robots who are going to need the help of humans, not the other way around. Imagine a scenario where errors and exceptions are detected by robots, which then contact humans that are in a remote call center. In this way, it's the robots that are calling to the human skills, experience and intuition to help solving problems. And that is what we call people helping robots, helping people. That's fascinating. Let's all help each other, including the robots. Thank you so much for your time, Milan. I hope to see you again soon. Bye. Thank you very much for having me. Bye-bye.